at Christian Siriano. I am with Anthony Cole for Sebastian. You are doing such a great look this season. It's for spring summer 2016. Tell us what you're doing, because you're doing like you're you're doing the long, smoothest but smoothish look, but it has some texture. Yeah. So basically what we wanted to do is some straight texture. Yeah. And in doing this straight texture, we looked at it and we were like, oh, we need to put a little bit more glam in it. But we didn't want to do any kind of curl or anything. So the new thing that I've been doing is I've been taking hair. I think and we're going to have to do it on this side. Are they come over here so we yeah. can see it? Yeah. So I've been yeah. taking hair. And instead of doing, I've been kind of just letting it fall naturally and then just clipping it in and then following the S patterns around. And this is, it gives it this really cool glamour feel, but also you get this cool texture along with it. So it kind of really opens it up and it gives you like, I just had my hair up in a ponytail, I took it down and my ends are straight and I just have this really soft, cool, crisp, feminine feel to it. So it'll move on the runway. Exactly. All right, so tell us about this faux fringe. You seem to be so into faux fringes this yeah. season. Yeah, this season I'm so into faux fringes because I just feel like women should be able to change whenever they want. You know, it shouldn't be like, oh, okay, I, you know, why commit? There's all these faux fringes that are amazing. You just pop them in, you can have, wear them in all kinds of different lengths that you have. And I think it's a really cool thing, especially now. And I'm so happy when Christian was like, I want all my models to have a fringe. At first I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I needed a full, I needed actually somebody to come in and bring me a full, like we needed 90 fringes so that we had uh, many colors to go through. Yeah, so it was, um, it was quite scary, but it, it's working out amazing. All right, so you did something, when you were putting in this fringe, you did something uh, very interesting, I thought, that so that it matched perfectly or blended mm -hmm. perfectly. Yep, so what you're going to do, so what you're going to do here is, now you see when you have the fringe, you're going to have this little parting here in this area. So what I do is I come in and I zigzag part all the way through and then I open it up from that zigzag because don't forget there's a cushion here. There's a cushion in the, in the fringe and there's no cushion in her hair and then you're not really seeing a parting throughout here. So what I do is I take that, after I'm done, I come in and I hold it up, I grab a part of the fringe with it and I do a back comb. So you see how I'm back combing that through? And now watch. It totally covers the fringe and you do not see it and it looks really cool. And you brush it in and then you have that really cool fringe. And one last question. Um, people were asking you what's the biggest mistake uh, some artists make. What is that? I think that um, the biggest mistake that some artists are, are afraid, they're afraid to brush hair. Even they'll set hair, curl hair, and then they're so afraid to just put that brush in their hands through it. Brush it really good because once you brush it, it really falls on the architecture of the head. And it makes such a huge difference when it's really adorning the head shape rather than really taking over. All right, so perfect. Uh, your hero product today? My hero product today, I'm going to say, is Cyber 9. All right, hold it up and so we can see it. texture maker. Thank you so much, Anthony. Thank Thanks you. for it's giving us this time, pleasure. and have a great show. We'll see yes. you. Bye. Bye.